Hey, what's going on guys? Comic again Z here. For those of you who didn't watch the previous video, just a very, very quick uh, information about that. So, I got an email from uh, Gintran Lamar, uh, who's created a move generator, uh, which he claims to be a clone of Wukong Jazz, uh, and it's, it performs around 10 times faster, believe it or not. That's absolutely unbelievable and when i when i when i saw this at the very first time i felt like i was knocked out by the world champ by, by, by the world boxing champion yeah, it was absolutely <laughs> i didn't expect that uh but for, fortunately nothing uh, apart my ego suffered and got hurt here and uh i'm really i really appreciate to gun trend for uh providing his solution because without that i would never ever manage to learn uh this tricks this little tricks regarding the so so fantastic so huge optimization in javascript so in this video i'm gonna reveal uh the core reason of this abyss as i was mentioning before uh in the performance gap uh between these two versions well first of all before uh before the actual explanation uh i just really want to show you one more time how horrible this abyss looks like because it's it's really it's just horrible i'm shivering when i when i see this difference and i really want to uh, show you this as well so you could have experienced something similar to to what i feel so i just want to grab this so-called tricky position we want to be going for a perf depth file well just just to give you a, a a quick idea the version by uh the version by guntran uh goes as fast as my version on of ukun's uh, of ukun generator in c so he make he made the javascript code working so fast as fast as if as if it was uh uh written in c well maybe not optimized version but but still that is so so damn fast okay so without further ado let's actually go for it so um, i just uh okay yeah so first uh let me uh okay yeah this is it so I just run uh, my Ukun Jazz Jazz Engine in the USA mode. The version it's already uh, I renamed the version to one point uh, uh, one point five alpha because you know like with this with this sort of a gifts that life gives you it's it's hard not to start working on a new version instantly. So if I just say position fen and paste this position and then I have a built-in perf tester here. So uh, just uh, strictly within the USA mode you can type perfed and for so now assuming the video recording software is working it would be a bit slower compared to how it runs uh without the video recording software but anyway the relative difference between these two implementations is seen very very great very very nicely seen and this slow as hell implementation would now be going for about 20 seconds maybe a little bit less but it's generally around 20 seconds it might be going even a bit more so let's see what we got at the very end so I can uh, I can tell a couple of stories by the time it going okay 90 seconds so it was 20 seconds in previous it doesn't really matter that much in particular so let's say this is 20 seconds okay and here is the version by Guntran Lamar so here is the version and here we go like almost two seconds so if we divide 20 by 2 it would be like almost 10 times faster believe it or not so are you impressed guys when i first saw this i was thinking like oh my god what was do what was what what was i doing for all these years doing chess programming I never felt that that noob uh but yeah i just want to show you uh the secret now uh of the secret that uh actually gintran shared with me uh, th this happened uh, unintentionally, uh, unintent, un uninten uh, he didn't intend that, I'm sorry, can't pronounce properly. Uh, but anyway, he actually helped me to figure that out. So let's go to uh, Gontran's implementation. So if I just search for function is square attacked, and here is Gontran's implementation. Uh, I'm not going to be uh, explaining 
in detail in details what's going on here and how it's different for now well assuming that he has uh all everything is different but uh from a previous experience i know that uh assuming the current architecture of a chess engine or, or of a mode generator in particular uh the most time consuming function is this one is square attacked so uh it takes like uh Oh my god, I don't know how to call this in English. So let's, uh, uh, let's say in percents, it's around 60, 65% maybe. So it's the major part uh, of all the uh, processing time, basically. And now we'll go for a very simple uh, experiment. So I just command out uh, GunTrans code here. And uh, I've provided my own code. Uh, so here is the code that I've copy pasted from my Wukong JS for comparison and I needed to copy paste these three objects that I was using in order to actually you know like uh, may, uh, to like I forget the word to refactor the code a little bit to make it look like better avoid duplications but the core difference that would be uh, inc now increased. Now, now would be making Guntrans code much slower, uh, as you've as you've probably already guessed. So here I'm using uh, array look uh, object lookup. So I have this first object, second object, and third object, and this slider pieces, leaper pieces, and pawn directions. So here lookup of the pawn directions. Here is the leaper pieces lookup, and here is the slider pieces lookup. So, uh, everything else within the Gontrans code is absolutely the same at the moment. But I just want to say that the, the way of how this, the thing is done in Ukun, so it uses objects all along the way where it's possible, and uh, Gontrans code doesn't do it. That's why this is so fast. So, let's try to run Gontrans code again. So, uh, the previous was around two seconds, and now let's try to run this again with this code mark against implementation and you see how slower it became so guys if you want to make your code slow as hell contact code mark again and i will definitely make your code as slow as hell that's <laughs> that's something i'm really good at <laughs> okay so now already we have 12 seconds well it's not obviously 19 seconds but you see that it's it's already a significant uh difference so it's a 12 divided by two it's kind of like oh my god six six times slower it's not ten times slower it's only six times slower but still if you do the same stuff in the mood generator i believe that that would be the same stuff and also some minor uh optimizations that guntran went for that i will highlight in the moment just a, a little bit later because they're not that essential like this this sort of an issue here so overall we'll have that uh we'll have that uh abyss and the performance gap basically so but the major the most damn major slowdown comes from this goddamn object lookup so if you're writing in javascript if you want to make something that goes really faster you just never ever use these damn objects because they're slow as hell so now let's try to figure that out how uh guntrans implementation is different and here is uh, a very simple, seemingly simple, but truly brilliant masterpiece from, from Gantran because what he does is on the one hand, it's very simple, but on the other hand, it's so damn, it works so damn fantastically well. So uh, regarding the code in general, so just uh, he incorporates the sliders and leapers into one uh, uh, piece of code but according to his report it would only give uh, a very uh, insig not, not, not significant uh, hold on a sec uh, I, I will command I, I will command this th these lines as well so just hold on a sec I just want to find where is Okay, JavaScript objects. Yeah, this is this is the main the, re the main reason, by the way. So where do I have? Um, uh, 
okay. I don't know, where did I take it from? Where did I take it from? I don't know if I, I saw it somewhere that that he was mentioning around two two three percent. Uh, oh, this is it. Yeah, so he combined the leaper piece and slider piece in generate moves. Well, uh, the same thing he did uh, within the e square attack, and trust me, then within the e square attack, it's much more significant. So it has a much more significant impact on the overall performance because e square attack is really more time consuming compared to the miserable amount of time taken by the generate moves according to the profiling of the current architecture so uh, regardless of the implementation the architecture is still the same in both implementations so uh only three four percent of a speed up so it's not significant really but here is the here is the the real deal basically so first uh the very first thing that I've already revealed is the matter of piece encoding. So uh, the outer loop is the loop over the piece types. So he has uh, he uh, he uses bit masks to extract the piece types, and also another bit mask to extract the piece color, and something else apparently don't remember. And as he said himself, he took that from my bare minimum chess program in JavaScript that uh, uh, I was writing being inspired by the Micromax chess engine by Harm Geert Miller. So he can incorporate two, two approaches. So he took the piece encoding, Gontran and Lamar took the piece encoding from the bare minimum chess program that I had uh, a quick crash course here in chess programming channel, almost live coding that from scratch and having the working chess engine by the end of the video. And he used that piece encoding here within the Sukun Jazz uh, like Mo generator. So uh, the most essential. So in order to get the piece, so j just a very a very quick, a very quick explanation. Like, so he matches the piece if we have a particular piece on the target square. So it's for pawns and. It's exactly the same for uh, either slider or leaper pieces. So it just matches if the piece is on the target square. In that case, we just return true, which means that this this uh, the square is attacked by this piece. So the way he extracts piece using this make piece, and if we just have a look at the piece encoding, so this is the the core the, the essential part. So uh, here he uses uh, piece codes that are very similar to what I did in, in bare minimum chess program. So the first three bits represent the piece type, okay? And so we can simply bitwise end this with a seven, decimal seven, or it's also the hex decimal seven, so bitwise it with this sort of a constant, you call it piece type mask, which it is basically to extract the piece type. And then to extract the piece color, uh, so, we, so we have uh, zero for white pieces, and we have one, for black pieces here. So uh, using a, the single bitwise operation can be used in order to uh, actually say whether the piece is black or white. And that's exactly what goes number of times faster compared to this object lookup. So uh, the make piece function itself, it should be somewhere very near. Yeah, uh, make piece, so just bitwise or the piece the piece type with the color left shifted to three bits. So quite pretty simple. So we, we shift the three bits because the first three bits uh, represent the piece type. And then we just, so as far as we represent, uh, we, we just shift the color three uh, to the left, three bits to the left. So it's like, this means like uh, from the very beginning, we just, uh, so here from the very beginning, we just shift three to the left. Then here we have either one or zero, which would be our color, and then we just bitwise or all the all the rest with this uh, 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 constant of uh, of seven, basically, no matter decimal or hexadecimal, seven, both both cases. So that's it, and we get the piece type, uh, and, and that's how we kind of he called make piece, which it, which it literally is. So we're making a piece from the piece type and the color. So that's how we can make this sort of a piece uh, kind of working like uh, it's much faster it's just a matter of uh, two bitwise operations instead of that horrible array lookup which 
takes so damn long. So uh, let's go back to is square attacked function. So again, so the, the outer loop is the loop over the piece types uh, and decrements the piece types. Uh, I, I didn't yet uh, kind of like explore that in that great details, but I just, just want to share the, the gist essence behind it. So then uh, to, to figure out what piece the square is supposed to be attacked by, we're calling this make piece, which is literally just, you've seen, you just left shift the color three uh, bits and then bitwise or with a piece type which we have where do we have the piece type from uh yeah we we have this from this sort of a loop very simple and then in case if the piece type is equal to pawn uh the next thing again like instead of uh array lookup for 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 directions as, as i did here so here i use the spawn directions of that offsets color index so I guess lots of math like multiplication is used there and assuming the uh, double precision uh, numbers uh, representing uh, in, instead of integers, it's quite pretty. Mm, I, I, I could have guessed that it, it would be too long basically. So here we have like uh, within this uh, point directions. So to calculate the proper, to, to, to make a lookup, it actually takes longer compared to uh, generating the stuff on your own from scratch so uh, I'm slightly bit not really that sure about this down direction so what is this in particular but doesn't really so down left and right uh, not sure well uh, I need to check that out but he just the the idea that he, that he calculates the directions uh, the direction on the fly instead of instead of using any lookup looks lookups and it's and it's much faster and then he just uh, does what I did so bitwise uh, bitwise ended the target square with a hexadecimal 88 so this is out of board mask is literally hexadecimal 88 to make sure that the square is on board and then make sure that uh, in the board array in the target square we have this actual piece. And square pretty the same stuff is done here, uh, and again like he just he still uses the lookup, but it's not it's not an object, it's just an array, so it's also should be much faster. Uh, yeah, didn't yet check that out, but again like just making everything by hands basically instead of using the array lookup, uh, the instead of instead of using the object lookups, this is such a great uh, performance boost here. That's that's kind of that's kind of it basically and I really hope that this should be quite pretty trivial to incorporate into Wukong.js to speed it up significantly uh, still it won't be that fast as, as this version due to the due, due to the reasons I will now try to explain but anyway it should be a very uh, it should be much much faster so Mm, I just really want to uh, so uh, so a few words about about Guntran that I I've realized after uh, that I've realized after uh, talking to him basically via email. So he's an expert in code optimization in general and uh, regarding JavaScript in particular. But he, he's proficient in TypeScript, which is the superset of JavaScript that I've been mentioning before. So he's a real expert in like how to make your code faster you've just seen his skills this is so damn amazing because you know like yeah for a noob like me that's that's very that's more than just just impressive so thank you so Gontran thank you for a masterpiece again okay so I know some his thoughts uh quite a fun thing that uh he he did assume several things that could have made this uh performance uh, boost but he wasn't really uh he wasn't really sure he, he wasn't he didn't know it for sure and he actually asked me to uh to what i think and what my research would, would tell so he, he did uh he said like like this point number six you know like it's something insignificant i don't use javascript object much i feel like objects are slow <laughs> and this is this is them so 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 important, so point number six, it should be uh, point number one and the uppercase letters, the big letters, like uh, like a header, not just like a paragraph. So j just to, to emphasize that 
not using objects so never use objects they're very really very very so so slow but anyway let's quickly walk through the points that the expert uh teaches us basically so the very first thing so instead of using uh, uh defining the border array like this which is done in wukong js he uses the typed array so uh he his, he reports that it this gave him uh, around 10 percent of improvement for him uh, I didn't yet test that, but that's incredibly easy to make. So uh, I would be happy to try that at home, basically. So uh, you're welcome to do that as well. Okay. Uh, then this this one is a little bit arguable. So he says like uh, looping over the squares, uh, he has it's ten percent speed up compared to look up through the piece list code. Uh, it's arguable because piece lists are used. Well, maybe in his particular implementation this was so but uh, generally the reason why people are using piece list is because within the evaluation function uh, you're not doing uh, you're not duplicating the, the the job you don't need to loop over all the squares again to get the, uh, to get this uh, values and you just use a uh, use a lookup to to get that well probably uh, the way of how in particular that lookup is done well by the way uh regarding the piece list quite a fun thing that i'm that i'm not using object look lookups i'm using uh, i'm calculating the uh i'm calculating uh offsets by hands basically using the multiplication obviously but still well i hope that uh, that is a little bit faster compared to if i was using objects there as well uh, didn't test that yet this all needs to be tested because otherwise these words don't really uh, mean much so uh the next point piece encoding uh could be a thing but i didn't try any other so i can't i can't compare with another implementation uh well what i can say mm, i guess you know like uh this should be the case uh quite pretty significantly because well, it's also uh, also need need to make some tests on it in order to make sure. But um, you know, like let's say we were trying to figure out whether the piece is white or black. So if we have the encoding like uh, I was using in my uh, bare minimum chess program, both C version, JavaScript version, uh, live coding version, doesn't matter. So in order to answer the simple question whether the piece is white or black. In this case, we need to make the only bitwise, we need to perform the only bitwise operation. So we need to say piece bitwise ended with the, uh, with eight, basically. That's it. So if it returns true, that means that the piece is white. If it, uh, sorry, that means that the piece is black. Otherwise, if it returns zero, it means that the piece is actually white. And another way of mm, getting the uh, color would be to say if uh if the piece is greater equals than pawn and less equals than queen so greater equals than one less equals than five greater greater equals than six less equals than 12 and so on so that's gonna at, at very least two can two two conditions instead of one and again like something tells me that these comparisons are going a little bit uh, slower compared to the bitwise operations because uh yeah even uh, on assembly language level comparisons are kind of bit uh, it's the separate uh, that's the separate instruction well uh, I, I can't I can't recall this exactly but I just think that comparisons should be slower compared to uh, bitwise operations but anyway we have two comparisons which which is definitely slower than the single bitwise operation which is the core essence uh, uh, I want to deliver here so piece encoding should matter quite pretty significantly again like uh i'm really tempted to try try and run some tests on my site to to reveal the possible uh difference uh within this stuff but anyway well we'll see we'll see how it goes basically so uh let's go through the next steps so he said like he didn't implement the threefold repetition i don't yet understand how to ha how the hessian of the position is done but it's probably slowing your version a bit so yeah calculate it well uh, incrementally updating the hash table well i don't really think that that is slowing the version but if the expert said that is that it is slowing that most likely it is so because i uh, i don't trust my co-mikey kids understanding of uh 
performance sorry performance optimizations anymore after this experience uh so probably he's right but we really need the hash uh, uh the incremental updates for for a hash key because otherwise we were not uh, we're not able to uh identify every single given position during the search uh with a unique well almost unique uh uh signature basically which is the 32-bit uh the the 32-bit uh, integer basically it's signed and yeah it's a little bit weird and it's arguable whether to use 32-bit or 64-bit well obviously 64-bit uh, are, are better but uh, even my noobs implementation in WorkOnJS shows that even the 32-bit hash key is working perfect, perfectly well I mean the hash table works perfectly well with even with 32-bit number integers so it's it's definitely stronger compared to no transposition table version so that's just fine at, at, at very least for now and then he says uh combine the code for leaper and slider pieces and generate most and square attack and this gave three four speed up well uh i better trust him so this should be the case anyway the code looks like m much more factored in this case and I really love how the code looks it's just more compact and just much better really uh and this one is the most essential, so I don't use JavaScript objects much. I feel like objects are slow. I feel like, I like this, I feel like. <laughs> it, damn, it damn feels that so great. I wish I could feel that on my own. I use an object anyway for the decode move and decode history. It's a bit slower, but much cleaner for my taste. Yeah, uh, I, I, I was I was guided by by the observations of making it a little bit cleaner to my taste when I was making this, uh, w when I was implementing this uh, square attack function here. So I was uh, I was guided by the same taste uh, s sort of a stuff, but <laughs> this costed me ten times slower mood generator at the very end so be careful with with this cleaner taste and yeah it says that that's that's kind of it so again like uh Gontran, uh i can't thank you enough for giving this absolutely amazing fantastic masterpiece to me personally and to all of the subscribers of chess programming channel and I know, like, I feel like your contribution to the community is all is already very significant. Uh, I've, by the way, I've already added Gontran into the list of, uh, into the credits uh, of WukunJS Chess Engine. By the way, yeah, no, I, I should have done that a long time ago. I'm in the credits part. So now we have here in the repo, we have these credits. And uh, uh, I'm mentioning all the people that helped me uh, in chess programming in general. Uh, maybe not in Wukun in particular, well, uh, well Pedro helped in, in, in Wukun move ordering, but more likely they, they all helped me within my BBC Chess Engine, which, which, which is the previous one. I've covered it in a 95 video series here on Chess Programming Channel, but anyway, uh, without the help of these people, it wasn't really, uh, I, I wasn't uh, at the point where I'm currently am, basically. And again, like, I've added Gunter and Lamar uh, for optimization ideas of the mood generator, well, maybe sorry for the very last but it's uh, it's in no particular order it's just just all these people are very very important to me because uh, their contributions are very significant i can't i can't i can't even say who helped me more and they they all helped me really really a lot so that's that's kind of it basically well okay guys so this is it uh regarding uh this mysterious uh, slow down of Wukong JS, so it's nothing mysterious here. I'm, I'm just a noob code monkey, nothing much here. Don't use objects in JavaScript, whatever, but not objects. So from now on, I'm gonna start my own experiments on incorporating the ideas taken from uh, Guntrans implementation into Wukong JS. Anyway, I would still try to keep the didactic approach because uh, with all my deepest uh, with, with all my deepest uh, Mm, with all my deepest respect to the work of Gantran, still I find his code not as readable as mine. And well, for me personally, it represents like uh, something that I was trying to wait uh, when I was starting my job on making things very simple and when I started my work in didactic engines because uh, this, this code is very proficient, it's very optimized, very cool, nice, fantastic, outstanding, etc. But 
it's not really that easy to understand it. Even again, like, bearing in mind that this is my own code, it's not that trivial even for me to figure out what's going on here. So it takes time to try and figure that out basically. So, but anyway, anyway, uh, I think that uh, this is actually worse of, you know, like, uh, at least studying this, yeah, and taking the ideas. So I will, tr uh, I will try to keep my didactic approach still, uh, but I just try to avoid using objects at any cost. Uh, I will most likely change the piece encoding here to, ex to extract the types and then using this make piece logic here. I think that's the very, very good way of proceeding basically. So yeah, uh, I don't know why didn't I do this yet. Uh, I didn't think this would give so much, but the practice shows that it does basically. So again, like thanks to Gondrent for for uh, revealing this. Uh, it would take ages for me to, to reveal that on my own. And most likely that happened uh, not intentionally. So yeah, that's, that's gonna it from my side for this moment basically. And the next videos coming, uh, I hope that within the next videos coming, uh, I would be introducing this improvements regarding the performance of the mode generator, not everything at once, but step by step. So to keep the didactic approach and to break down every single little step, I would have been making in great det details because it's really hard for me to comment uh, someone else's code, uh, especially bearing in mind that the level of this code is much higher to, higher to what I can produce basically as a code marketing. So uh, I would rather just try to mm, understand this on my own, incorporate it into my own code, try to play around, work, or play around with that, work that out, and then hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully to explain uh, how in particular and why it works, why it works and how, and how in particular, basically. So that's the plan for the near future. And I just want to say that just uh, uh, just to give a very rough estimate, so it seems like Gontran gave me at very least 100 elo point gift elo points gift here, because if the mood generator would be uh, like 10 times faster, man, uh, it should be searching deeper. Uh, I hope hopefully for a couple of plays, so that should that should done uh, the trick basically. So I hope that, that the version 1.5 would be. Uh, uh, I, I think that when I uh, when I update the entire mode generator, it would be already uh, a good enough uh, leap in plane strength and in surge depth, uh, respectively, to make to produce to make a new version basically. Because uh, uh, I'm not I'm not really sure what exactly can be done to search and evaluation. By the way, I need to ask Guntran to try to <laughs> try to reveal some possible uh, performance issues with my evaluation tuner because it's also uh, slow as hell. I, I just I just drop any, any, anything out and try to mail, mail him asking for for help with that. Just have a look at the code, what's what's going horribly wrong there basically. So that would be an interesting thing to consider as well. So just to get an idea of how in particular that can be done. At least at the, not maybe not the implementation, but at least at the level of ideas basically that that should be that should be very interesting in interesting yeah by the way the uh, this code is not written by hands so it's generated from typescript code so it's it's not really what he did it's just uh, generated from the uh, typescript so the typescript version looks a little bit different i've been showing you this in the previous video but anyway uh, uh, i would rather give you links uh, in the description below this video so you would be able to explore 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 the code on your own well, okay, guys, so this is it from my side. I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, new updates on mode generator performance, hopefully uh, about to be coming quite pretty soon. This is it from my side. Until the next time, and take care.